Hey there, my name is Kelly Dale with Off the Beaded Path, and this is your Must Know Monday for Monday, September 23rd, 2019. Today, we're going to talk about crimping with a crimp that has a loop already attached to it. These crimps are really great for thicker pieces of leather or micro suede cording or even multiple pieces of cord. So, um, today's project, I'm going to be using two of these crimp ends. I'm going to be using two split rings, a magnetic closure, and a yard each of two colors of leather. So let's go ahead and get started. So here is what a crimp with a loop looks like. Most people use these crimps for leather and cord, things that are either much bigger in diameter or they're going to use multiple strands of it. These come in different sizes. Um, this specific one is a six by 4.5 millimeter. It's silver plated. And what I'm gonna use it for is I'm gonna make um, a bracelet. I wanted a bracelet that I can basically take. This is two pieces of leather. Um, the leather, I'll have to look and actually tell you the exact amounts of it to how much I have. Um, but I just wanted a piece, a bracelet where I could wrap multiple pieces of leather and wear it just like this. It's two pieces of leather that are 1.5 millimeter each. So I've got a yard, a yard of both pieces. I've already got my end on this one side just because I tested it to see how long I wanted it. So now I've got my other side here and I'm going to put my two pieces together and I'm going to slide those two pieces into the crimp. Now, if you slide them all the way up like this, it's going to cover up the hole that you have there to actually put your clasp or whatever you're going to do into it. So you want to pull it just to where you can see the leather um, poking out the top hole here. Now, if you look closely, let me get it a little closer here, you'll see that you have like a textured part here at the top then a plain ring, and then your textured part here at the bottom. You are going to be using only the center part, this plain center right here. Um, you can use crimp pliers to crimp this. If it was a smaller one, I could use and I can actually crimp this. Um, these specific crimps are made just to grab a hold of that center part and actually flatten out the center part. So it still looks really nice. Um, but you have your piece completely cramped in place and you don't have to worry about that pulling out of your leather. So it's really, really simple to use that. Now I'm going to use a split ring like I talked about a few weeks ago on my Must Know Monday video. And so I'm going to take the split ring pliers and even though this is a plated ring, I'm going to use my, um, precious metal um, pliers here to add this so you can see but I'm just basically going to uh, let me get it in here get it started so that the piece is inside of my ring and that way then I can then let go whoop do it again here I guess it helps to make sure it's there There we go. Okay, making sure that is inside there and then I'm gonna just turn it just like a key ring to get my piece on there. So now you can see it is on there and it's not gonna pull off because it is, like I said, the split ring. Now I've already got my, I'm gonna use a magnetic clasp. So I've already got attached to this side. So I'm going to simply just take I'm going to open that split ring again and then I'm going to slide my loop in and then again just turn it just like I would put on a key on a key ring so that now you can see how the ends of my bracelet are finished off and they look really nice and I don't have to worry about jump rings separating because I have used split rings to put this together and I have a nice finished look here on the ends of my leather. 
So I hope you enjoyed this brand new video learning how to use the crimps with the loops. As you can see, it makes just a really simple bracelet in the video um, with nice looking closures um, with that project. So very, very simple. We do have all the items that I showed today for sale on our website, which is off the beaded path beadstore.com. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.